Hi guys, today we're going to talk about training videos and how to create them for your application. Hi everyone, Merry Christmas! So we create a lot of demo videos um, and we pop them on Vimeo and YouTube. Also too, we get a few customers who want specific videos for specific areas of Easy Peasy Forms, which we make for them as well. Yeah, it's just so much easier to see something visual to get an idea of how to create the form that you actually want. Well, it's a lot quicker too. I mean, I've, I've done it before where I've made screenshots and sent them in an email to someone saying, you do this, you do that. But when you've got a video, it just makes yeah. it, it's like I'm showing you live exactly what to do really, yeah. Yep. So we'll just talk about our process. Uh, we use a product called Camtasia and it's a really simple, fairly affordable product. Um, and I guess it's probably like Adobe Premiere, but it's kind of nice and simple. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really simple, it's good to you. Okay, so first of all, we look at what we want to create the video based on, and then we go through and set up our demo environment. Yeah, so we might start off by cleaning up our screen, hiding icons that we don't want to get caught in the video. Turning off Skype. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing worse than when it pops up. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so, We'll record the process as we're doing it, and while we might talk or think about what we're going to say, we cut out that audio at the end. Yeah. Um, it's just really filming the actual individual screens. And once we've got those screens, uh, we put it into Camtasia, mm -hmm. and then what's the, the next one? And then we start editing. So um, Camtasia is really cool because you can just sort of cut pieces out that um, are too long. Sometimes I spend too long on a screen because I think I'm doing a demo, I need to go really slow. but um, sometimes demo videos that are really slow are just that way too slow. So yeah. um, we cut that out and also too, you can sort of change bits around, cut out those loading pages and things like that if they're taking a wee while. And yeah, because when you're actually watching a video of somebody on a screen, things like page loads seem even slower than what they are in real life. So we generally highlight that little bit of video and just cut that out. Yeah, or when you're typing something in, especially because obviously we're a form creator, um, there's a lot of typing, so the questions and things that you type in, you want to speed that up so people are not like watching you type really slow. Yeah, so you can speed up the individual bit of video, or uh, what I sometimes do is I'll have a notepad on the side and I'll copy and paste the text in just to save me typing. <laughs> so after we've done the editing, we watch the video through its entirety and then we do the narration to it. Over the, over the top, really, yeah. Yeah, so it's much easier afterwards because you can watch the flow of it and then just record the narration over the top. Yeah. And then output it to an MP4 file. Easy. It's so easy. So making videos is really, really easy. Um, Camtasia is a really good product. You should check that out. Yeah, and it. this is not sponsored by them or anything like that. It's just that we found it a really good product. Yeah, yeah, and we've tried a few sort of things as well so yep. and this one seems to be the one that's working well for us um just give it a go it takes some time and yeah. a little bit of patience as well there are a lot of extra features in camtasia where you can do things like add dissolves and stuff like that but uh, keep it simple i think that's one mm. of the key things it's not worth getting too fancy you want to knock these out and your screens change all the time so you're going to have to redo them so okay. keep them simple keep it simple easy as awesome thanks, thanks guys, guys. Bum bum. What do they bum, need? Bum. What do they need?